So I ended up getting sent this tea by David's Tea. It's an older tea that we're gonna be reviewing today. It is David's Tea's Pure Chai. So this tea I've never even heard of. I got this sent in to review. And it says, if you're looking for a straightforward chai, then the spice blend is for you. Um, perfectly balanced. Oh, okay. Perfectly balanced. It says, organic black tea from India, cinnamon cloves with natural flavoring. So the description online says, if you want a straightforward traditional chai, this is the blend for you. It's a simply perfect balanced combination of Indian black tea, uh, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. Delicious when brewed on its own and even more delicious when simmered in steaming hot milk on the stove. Why overcomplicate things? So this is the black tea and this is like a super old label that David's Tea had. They used to have these with the samples. <clears throat> it says black tea, five grams. So I brewed it up at 212 degrees for about four minutes and 45 seconds was the recommended time. It smells like very heavy on cinnamon and black tea, so it's pretty simple. It kind of smells like, um, I'm trying to think of what this one smells like. Like any basic chai. It's very, very, it smells sweet, but I don't think it's gonna be too, too sweet. Um, I only had a little bit to sample, so it brews up this nice brown color. It's really, really nice. Me personally, I'm not a huge chai fan. I kind of go away from chais, to be honest with you. I just don't like my tea to be spicy. Um, I don't like, I don't really like the burning sensation. Uh, I don't know if that's just me. Um, I know some other people love chai. Myself personally, not a huge fan. So um, I'm going to give it a try. It smells, it smells like, like a basic chai tea. Okay, so this one's not bad. You do get a little bit of the burning, but it's not super horrendous. Um, I did add a little bit of honey just because this one's not sweetened. And I thought the honey would kind of bring out more of that black tea flavor, and it does. The black tea isn't super duper prominent, but it is stronger than the chai taste. But uh, usually with black tea, I either love the taste or I hate it, depending on what kind of black tea and how long it's steeped for. This one's a nice black tea flavor. There's not too, um, it's not too bitter. It's not too... Um, strong, but it's like the right amount. Uh, I like this chai. I would purchase this chai again if they did bring this back. It's not too spicy. It's the right level of spice. You get a tiny, tiny burn, but it's not overwhelming. This one's nice. I like this one. Um, so would I repurchase Pure Chai by David's Tea? I would. Would I stock up? I would not stock up. Rating out of 10. This one's like a 7 out of 10. They did a good job with this one. I like it. It's not too strong. I find the chais nowadays that they make are just way too much and I can't deal with it. So um, I like pure chai, it's nice. I'm happy I got to try this one out in a little sample. So that was my quick review on David's Tea's Pure Chai. Let me know if you guys have this one in your collection. This is a really old tea from like years and years ago. So it's currently not available, unfortunately, but uh, I hope they bring this one back because I will be buying some. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review on David's Tea's Pure Chai. Let me know what you guys think of this tea in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching.